Hey y'all, I'm back. So, um, I guess from the sounds of it, I guess it's quiet. But I have my earphones in to block out any outside noise so I can concentrate and focus and think. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> earlier, um, I was... A man walked up to me and started talking to me um, about, you know, like it, like he's a truther. He walked up to me and started talking to me. And then I don't even know if he really was a perp because he, you know, walked up to me like a truther. Like as if he knew the truth about, you know, the way everything is. <clears throat> he's a black man. I saw him one, at least once or twice before. And he walked up to me and started talking to me about, you know, the truth about this COVID thing and the coronavirus. And um, he also was, um, you know, telling me about homeless disappearing and stuff like that. And it's like... um then he started to make it like he opposes this system and everything. And I've had people do that to me before, talk like they know the truth and talk like black people, mainly black men, talk like they know the truth and speak the truth. And then turn around and tell me that I have to follow the white man's rules. I even before had people, you know, try to tell me, well, you have to follow the system and you have to take the white man's medicine. And you have to follow their rules after you just got done speaking against how evil they are. You know, <clears throat> and then I didn't, I mean, this man felt like he wasted my time for at least two hours. I was just about to go to sleep because I didn't have sleep last night. He walked up to me and started talking to me. He did have on a red hat. <clears throat> and, um... So, I don't know, it's like I feel like my at least a minimum of two hours of my time was wasted by him talking to me and more like, you know, lecturing me or whatever. <clears throat> if I didn't even say that much, I'm sitting there listening to him. And then he tried to, like the one thing that came out my mouth and then he talked about me, be careful about thinking negative. And then... It's like he just turned out to be fake. You, you know, I'm really agitated right now because that's more sleep I could have got. I mean, at first he's sitting there talking like he's against the system. And then he brought up brought up the topic about Jehovah's Witnesses. I said, I don't like them. They're a cult. And then he talked about me being judgmental. And he said, oh, yeah, you just talk about people being judgmental. Um, and you don't like people prejudging you. So how how come um you know you pre prejudge them so don't judge them and oh but go watch you better be careful because what goes around comes around. I said well are you a Jehovah's Witness? He said no. I'm I'm and then he said that oh I don't you know I'm not a Christian I'm not this I'm not that but then he told me how he believe in Jesus Christ. I don't know he started off nice and cool. And and he just got finished, like, I talked about the idea of, you know, like, he was talk, telling me about how oppressive white people are. And so then I talked about, you know, the the ones who, they act like they think, the ones who have rich and with a lot of money, who think that, you know, <clears throat> the ones who are rich and with a lot of money, who think that they, um you know, they talk articulate and proper and then he tried to make it like oh there's no such thing as proper except what they dictate what should be called proper and what should not be and then he started talking to me about writing his book or whatever then I was talking about wanting to write a book so then he tried to say well you can't write a book like this you have to go write a book like that and get an edit and I, and I said well I'm, that's what that's why I have a YouTube channel he's like oh no you can't have a YouTube channel and he's like, oh, you can't do that. Um, and he's trying to make, want me to write a book the way he wants. Trying to suggest that 
spend all this time trying to tell me how to write a book the way he wants me to write it. And then tell me, you know, these books that I have to, like this thesaurus and this writer's reference that I have to get. And I said, well, look, I'm not even trying to make money. And and, and I said, well, he, well, I was, you know, he was making things, you know, seem difficult. But I'm like, after, after he just telling me, you know, that the white man, you know, the rich white men in power, you know, how he doesn't like their oppression and stuff. And then he's sitting there telling me that I have to have an editor. And I'm like, well, well I'm pretty sure the references you gave me by, were by white people. By telling me you have to write a book this way and you can't do it this way. And you have to um, get an editor and, you, you know, and, uh, and he's like, even if you're not trying to make money, you still have to write it a certain way. And I said, well, I'm not trying to get success. You know, he he's like, well, if you, well, he basically, well, you speak against white people, but then you want me to write book the white man's way, <clears throat> you know. And then, so I said, oh, oh well, most people are not going to read your book if, if your book has to be cohesive and this and that, whatever. I'm like, well, you're pretty much sounding like the rich whites right now. I'm like, I, I said, well, and then he's like, well, you should stick to one topic and not go all over the place or whatever. Well, I mean, well, that's why I have a YouTube channel. So instead of writing a book, <clears throat> because... I don't want anybody to try to control or dictate my thoughts or how I should write stuff. Or these editors who make more money than you off of your work and then try to change the truth or try to change, you know. He, he acted like he was trying to give me some writing tips and stuff. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> this man, he, I don't know. He just wasted my time. And, um, y you know made it like as if and it's funny how he said that oh you, you know um <clears throat> he he says oh you can't have a youtube video you can't do that you have to write a book and show sure enough i go log in, back into youtube today and find out they deleted my video uh, I mean, he, and I'm like, look, they they just sent me an email notification to, to, that that they deleted my video, one of my videos, and then he said, oh yeah, because you have to play by their rules. They see they're there to make money, and, and you have to follow their rules. After he was just speaking out against, you know, their evil or whatever, now he's telling me to follow their rules and um, stuff like that. You know, I don't know. And, he just, and then he tried to talk like he thinks he has so much sense and like he's so wise and everything. But then he started to, you know, make me feel like as if I lack intelligence. Treat me like I lack intelligence and like I'm a dummy, you know. <clears throat> and then try to, <clears throat> and I j just got finished talking about how I was frustrated because I'm tired of people telling me what I should think. And what I should focus on, and what I need to worry about. So I'll focus on the. Po you are a narcissistic abuser when you talk about focus on the positive, and then you don't, and then you go around saying stuff that's oppressive, and abusive. You just punch me in my face, and now all of a sudden for, you want me to just forget about it because it was the past and move forward and think positive and go on about my life. That's what anybody. I'm tired of people telling me what I need to focus on. I'm 36 years old. I'm tired of people telling me what I need to focus on and what I need to think, you know, and what I need to worry about. <clears throat> focus on this, focus on that, and leave that in the past, you know, while they, while they continue to add on to my gang stalking and hurt and pain or whatever. But he talked to me like it, as if he knew that I'm being followed and targeted and told me don't worry about that. I mean, but he tried to talk like he was targeted also. He just walked up to me and started talking to me. You know, he turned out to be just fake. And um, I don't know, I'm so kind of mad right now that I kind of forgot everything I wanted to say about him.
<clears throat> but then remember that video that I did talking about um I I, I said <clears throat> I mentioned about how YouTube I mean I mentioned how the people are, it's being made to look like as if we all are going to die of coronavirus and then I talk about the um I mentioned 5G depopulation agenda well that video from a few days ago they said it, they waited till now to say it was flagged. They didn't flag it immediately, but now. So that means somebody flagged and reported and snitched on my video. Um, and it might have been a gang stalking, one of the main gang stalking perps who down, who thumbs down all my videos. So, <clears throat> so now this channel is under attack. I'm, you're not gonna, I'm gonna continue speaking the truth. All these people who who try to make it like you should just be quiet or else they'll attack you more. But then there are people who said that you should continue fighting for freedom. You know, they want you to be patriotic and fight for freedom. But those are the same people. Everybody who's doing this double speak, who one minute they say one thing and then the next minute they say something contradictory. <clears throat> One moment you're speaking against the white man, and then the next moment you acting like you're embracing him, and then you get frustrated and walk off and call me the dumb sheep. I don't know. This might be a useless doggone rant, but uh, yeah, coincidence that he said that, and then next thing you know, one of my um, one of my videos get removed. So, and, and then I don't like how people talk about if you blog about something, you should stick to one topic rather than blog or write about different subjects. Well, I want to talk about a diverse, you know, diversity of things. So, I'm going to go now and bye.